Hey, how's it going? A while back, I did a video where I was coloring these pouches, which I strongly sus suspect are not made of cotton. You know, the canvas variety, be just because I used the fabric markers. Oh, which ones? Did I use the Artessa ones or the U.S. Art Supply ones? I can't remember. I'll have to go back in and watch that video. But this one, actually, that looks really cool. I did not heat set this or anything like that. And uh, frankly, I'm afraid to because I think this would... I think this would melt. <laughs> I think there's like a plastic, either a pr plastic coating over that or or just it's flat out plastic. And you can read the comments or the reviews for these pouches online if they're still there. I don't know if the product is still there or not. Uh, and it says, I don't think these are made of, I don't think these are made of cotton or canvas or anything. I don't, I highly suspect these are not fabric at all. <laughs> just because of how they put it. So what I thought I would do is try out Sharpie's bullet bullet nib and and brush marker, acrylic markers, their creative set of creative markers. Still waiting Sharpie for another set of 12 different colors to come out. Okay, oh and let me uh, I have to shake it. <laughs> These you have to shake. These you do not have to shake. You know, I just did a swatching video. Same day, as you might be able to tell with my little boo-boo here. Uh, same day as the swatching video. I did, this is my third video right now. I'm on a roll, so I thought, yeah, let's do it. Okay. I want to see, there's supposed to be no bleed for these. And do I need to come in? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come in. up close and personal. I'm not very good at staying in the lines. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that right now. Sometimes I get carried away. It's Saturday morning. Saturday morning. It's Saturday afternoon, I'm fairly certain. So I need to stop, stop with my video making and pull this in and edit my swatching video because that will come out Sunday September 15th this is the day before that's not too bad now I'm doing what I what I say not to do and that is wait till it dries before you add a second layer I want to see if that applies to all different surfaces or just paper. I don't know. That looks really good. Can acrylic markers be, can acrylic paint rather, be used on fabric? Yes. Yes. I just watched the video on somebody trying that out. Yeah. Oh. It was uh, Chloe Rose Art. She was trying uh, hacks, TikTok hacks or print Pinterest hacks and see if they were good or not. Thumbs up or thumbs down. And one of them was to mix acrylic paint with fabric softener, I think it is, to make a non-washable paint. But acrylic paint doesn't need fabric softener and it will... Uh, act like fabric paint. You also might have to heat set it before you wash it. Okay, let's see. That was a brush pen, so let's try so let's try the same color of the green. The greens don't match. Alright, is that a matching? That looks matching. Doesn't that look matching? <laughs> Just because it shows the same color up here, plastic <laughs> does not mean that it's going to be the same color on the surface. And that is true with the reds. Red bullet and red brush are different reds. The brush one is... I want to move it over here. Uh, 
what's the brush? The brush one is a, a brighter red, actually a, a nicer red. Okay, also with using... Oh, I'm sorry, I got off track. And the bullet red has more brown in it, um, which is okay if you're coloring something that needs that. You have a different color red. Look on the bright side for that, that, that you need that. Be positive. Well, we were just talking about that this week with my students. Optimism versus pessimism. Was they have to write about a quote that that tells them basically to stay positive. Ooh, that's not bad. It does look like the same color, doesn't it? It this one looks a little bit lighter than this one. Okay, this one I need to give another coat to because you can see through. This one I did a much better job of coating it. Although it looks a little light there, right, right there. But you know, <laughs> I can't see that. Is this my green one? I can't see that until until I look at the field monitor. Oh, what I was gonna tell you here before I jump back into talking about the reds was that these acrylic markers are touted by Sharpie to be layering and not blending. See, that's another thing I wanted to try out with these. There are so many different things I want to try out with these or experiment with with these acrylic markers by Sharpie. I don't know. Wow. So many different things. Okay, we don't know. Let's do blue. Blue on... Let me, let me do a mixture here so I can totally confuse myself. So, since these do layer and don't blend, that means I have to be careful when I go around the edge here because I will cover up that black outline. The black outline was done with... I want to say... Without watching the video, mm, going out on a limb there, uh, maybe the Copic micro liners, maybe, am I right? Go back and watch that video. Maybe I'll link it. I'll put it in end card or include, include the link in my description. Lots more information in the description. <laughs> well, I should say not lots more, but... Um, more information. Possibly a caption right about here, editor. Which is yours truly, by the way. Oh, maybe I should set these aside that I've done them. And the blue. Am I going with the blue? See, these I can't see the colors. <laughs> Again. Okay, I did that one. The blue one... We'll do that over here. This draws a thinner line than the bullet nib. So I guess I... <laughs> I guess I'll use the white. Also, I did not shake these. The, I used them a few days ago, so you don't necessarily have to shake them every time you... Pick them up to use them. Only if they've been sitting for a long time. Not being used. Oh, I might want to shake them. Mm. Can't make up my mind. Yeah. Ooh, these work better, I think, than the fabric markers. Wasn't I having a problem with... Um this side kind of yeah i had some bleeding problems over here i believe and i used different colors to to like this i can't imagine this is what <laughs> is that that's a blend of red or something i will have to watch that video that and hope i did that on video and these look Oh, they look much clearer. But when I'm looking at them here, they look a little kind of on the blurry side. But I don't, I don't think that's true. It could be the black, how the black is outlined there. 
these work okay great I'm going to do a little bit here and see how well the yellow and maybe even the white shows up on this color this pouch color because oh another thing that I maybe want to test is to see if the black if the acrylic paint the Sharpie acrylic paint will smudge the black. Do I want to mess up my yellow to find that out? What color do I want to mess up? <laughs> if that happens, let's try the gray. Now this looks like, oh yeah, I came over with the, don't do it there. Okay, I'll do it here. And here, it's just right on the black there. I don't think so. I think it's just going right over it. Now I know. Let me see. There's no marking on the on the felt there. I don't see any kind of smudging going on. Do you see any smudging? I don't see it. All right. I do might need to trace again with the black marker there. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is the yellow brush pen. Do you want, I know you want me to shake it. <laughs> Even though I told you, I, yeah, no need to shake it. Also, this is a very rough texture, this, um, this pouch material, whatever this material is. So, depending on what you use, you might want to be careful because it might mess up the nibs. And this is a brush nib. It is not a brush. So, it doesn't have separate fibers, bristles, or anything like that. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, we have orange here. So i just put it right next to the... I'm going to put it next to this yellow. Awesome. I am so happy that these don't bleed. Right? And I'm... I'm going to bring back... <laughs> Sorry, hemming, hawing, mumbling, mumble, mumble, mumble. I'm glad these don't bleed or blend into each other. This is the way to go with these pouches. Then I can buy more of these pouches. And then that was the orange one. Let's see the orange one here. These do not need shaking. No shaking required. But you still have to be careful if you're coloring next to a thin black line like this. Kind of common sense there, I guess. And once again, falling silent because I'm coloring. I am amazed. I'll probably go through, maybe take the... Even though these are slightly different from brush marker to bullet nib colors, I still... That's not going to stop me from taking the orange here, right? And kind of going over that. And that's okay because it'll give a little bit of a dimension there. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't see any dimension at all, but you never know. Are we still working on this pink brush pen? I'm looking at it with my various progressive lenses here. That's right, blind as a bat. Tammy the Crafty Cat Lady. 
the blind as a bat, crafty cat lady. Actually, that's what the eye doctor told me when I was younger and first getting fitted with glasses. Actually, didn't tell me. Walked out of the room and said, loud enough for me to hear, she's blind as a bat. Thanks a lot, doctor. <laughs> I don't think that person is around anymore, I should say. Definitely a different state. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's try the pink on this one. Will I be able to tell? Oh, the little dreamsicle. Raspberry. Raspberry and sherbet. Raspberry and orange sherbet, right? We've ever had that. I, last time I went to the grocery store, I bought. I like Briar's vanilla ice cream. And I bought, so I bought that. And I also bought the Talenti raspberry, what's it called? Is that uh, Roman raspberry sorbetto. And I've been mixing the Briar's vanilla with that raspberry, basically, uh, sherbet <laughs> of sorts. And man, and then I'm adding like a little bit of blackberry powder to it, and it is super delicious. Oh my gosh. It, it is like the raspberry version of the, the Popsicle brand Dreamsicle, you know? Oh yeah. And that's orange sherbet and vanilla ice cream, but mmm, delicious. Wait, I haven't done purple. What's wrong with me? We have to do a big, a big one for this one. Be careful. Also, I want to see the red bullet nib on here and see if it still gives me that brownish tint on this surface as this is different than the paper surface. The black paper surface from the box I was doodling the last time you watched one of my crafting. Maybe not the last time. Maybe the second to the last time. I think this is the third, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's like the second crafting video I did today. The first one that I did today, immediately after uh, swatching the bullet nib Sharpie Creative Markers, uh, I did an update or based on a, a viewer question about the highlighter pencils. So this one will come out after that. Two weeks after that. So where was I going? I lost my total train of thought there. Yeah. <laughs> purple, purple, purple. Okay. And we want this over here. Do I really want to put it close to the pink? No, I don't. I'm going to do it over here. And I'll do the red one, and then I'll I'll sign off on that one. Well, this is a little bit harder to color because it's the brush nib. Interesting. Oh, good! I can layer over that black line mistake that I made that I just covered up. Thank you, Sharpie, for that ability. Although I can't really, it's not just Sharpie acrylic paints and or markers that do that. But most acrylic markers will are good for layering, not so much blending. Some, some acrylic paints. Uh, I can, what do I have? Liquitex, I think. When I did the, the Honeybox video... The honey box. I mixed acrylic paint together, white and blue, to get a kind of a lighter, lighter blue than what the blue paint had. I mixed that paint, and that was acrylic paint. But in marker form, I guess because it dries so much faster than basic acrylic paint, it's hard. It would be hard to blend these. You know, as soon as you put it down, it's already going into that drying process. 
Hmm, that is cool. I like that. Now, is that going to dry purple? Like, this one dried kind of dried violet again. I could try and go over it and try and get... Maybe I'll just leave it like that instead of trying to just totally coat that surface. Just leave it as, as like that. Is that purple or violet? Purple or violet? <laughs> purple has more red in the color and violet has more blue in the color. Oh, we're doing the red. Last one. No dilly-dallying. Okay, what I like to see, Sharpie. <laughs> yes, I have requests. I would like to see the color down here as well. Like, uh, like you do with the nibs, the bullet nib one. Right here, or maybe a little thicker here. Oh, yeah. The colors are in those tiny little bands between cap and cap and barrel. Also, what was I going to say about? Oh, it is totally gone from my head. Just like that, Ed Thought just came in and then poof, gone. Okay, this is the red brush pen, and it's, if I remember, I'll I'll talk about it. Well, it was about the markers, too. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, uh, these do fit on the end quite nicely, although I, I hate having the caps on. And the same goes with these. I, I keep forgetting to mention that. I didn't even mention it in the swatching video. But you'll be able to see that the screen, the thumbnail, has the caps on, on some of the ends and then closed, what it looks like closed, what it looks like open, cap on. Oh, I don't have a, there's no cap off thumbnail. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It didn't even cross my brain. Will this be a vermilion red like it's been on regular white paper? It has a it has your basic red color, I see. Will the bullet nib red take on the more brownish tint like it's doing with the black? You know, it might not. I am answering my question that I'm asking my audience. You can answer it still. <laughs> I will not stop you. Okay, that's beauteous. Red, shaking, not required. And over, over here. On the lighter colors, this red kind of behaves itself, I should say. Maybe I should look for some of this black simulated canvas pouches. And then see if there's a difference. This one looks like it has a lighter red to it. Am I am I in view? Oh my gosh. I am so sorry there. I just get carried away with my coloring. Go with the grain. That looks it almost looks like it's darker. A darker red, but still a pleasant red than this one. Mm -hmm. It is hard to tell. Some people say are saying that the the red has a pink tint to it, but I think that has to do with the paper or the color of the paper, possibly. Oh wait, that goes on. Here. <laughs> and did, did I cover all of my colors green? I didn't do. There's no brown, and I can't make a brown. We need a brown. I did kind of do gray. Oh, white. I want to do the white. Because I think it'll stand out a little here. Where? Where do we want to do the white? Maybe between the green. This is fabric marker. 
There won't be much of a difference here. <coughs> Ooh. Am I... Am I pilling the... The nib? Am I pulling off bits of the nib? Hmm. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Blur City. That right there. think so. I hope not. Let's put it that way. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I picked up a dust kitty. That could be. <laughs> that really could be. Yep. And one of these. Nope. Turn it around so I can see the cap, cap color. Oh, maybe the there should be white out here on this instead of here because I always have to turn it around to see which color is this you know this is I know you say oh but well, we have it here but this doesn't always sometimes a lot of times that's how it sits on the flat surface it doesn't sit up like this well now it does but <laughs> it doesn't always sit up like that okay that's the white there and here we have hmm. I do not know. Right here, we'll do it. Very hard to tell. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I was thinking, I hope I'm in viewing range. Oh, I went over there. But see, that kind of blended in with that black. Hmm, not blended, but... Absorbed? So you might be thinking, then this must be fabric. No, I'm telling you. It is not fabric. <clears throat> it doesn't act like fabric. Okay, that's... Kinda, you can see it, kinda. I'll probably layer over that thinking that that one's much easier to see right there. Not much difference, though. I can barely see that this has white on it. This is uh, like a cream color, a very light cream color. Okay, so now I know that it works and I can add more colors. And I'm going to stop right there because I have to edit my swatching video and then all of these as well. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a creative day. Bye.